Hello and welcome to Learn Spanish on SpanishDict.com. I'm Paralee Whitmire and I'm your teacher. Today you'll be learning about personal descriptions like Soy alta, eres fuerte, ella es cómica y mucho más. Vámonos! In this lesson, you'll be learning how to describe yourself and others using the verb ser. Ser means to be in Spanish and is used to describe what a person looks like and what they are like. You can learn more about ser and the other to be verb at SpanishDick.com reference. Since you and I are just getting to know each other, you can ask me what I'm like. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Spanish also has another way to speak directly to a person, and it's more informal. You can use it with family members, friends, or people who are younger than you. This is called the to form. If you wanted to ask someone what they are like in the to form, just change your verb to eres. So your question would be, ¿Cómo eres? instead of, ¿Cómo es? We'll learn about the differences between tú and usted in a later lesson. But for now, since you just met me, Use the formal version, como es, to ask me what I am like. Yo soy morena y artística. Did you notice how I said yo soy morena to mean I am brunette? In this sentence, the yo means I, but in Spanish, verbs also tell you who's doing the action. Soy means I am. Most native Spanish speakers rarely use the pronouns when they're speaking to someone, so let's try and practice using that form from here on out. Soy morena y artística. You can also use ser to describe other people. This is really useful when you have to start describing your family to a new friend. Let's start. Como es él? What is he like? Como es él? Él es impaciente. Impaciente. Como es él? Él es perezoso. Perezoso. Como es ella? Ella es desordenada. Desordenada. ¿Y cómo es ella? Ella es mal educada. Mal educada. You can also answer cómo es or cómo es él o ella with physical descriptions. Ella es delgada. Delgada. Él es gordo, gordo. Ella es baja, baja. Él es alto, alto. Ella es joven, joven. Él es mayor, mayor. Ella es rubia. Rubia. Ella es pelirroja. Pelirroja. Él es fuerte. Fuerte. Ella es tranquila. Tranquila. Now, let's take a look at three different phrases. See if you can find a difference. El es atlético. Atlético. Ella es ordenada. Ordenada. Ella es inteligente. Inteligente. Él es inteligente. Inteligente. Now, I haven't mentioned it yet, 
But I hope you noticed that the adjectives for all the men end in the letter O, and the adjectives for the women end in the letter A. So if you want to use an adjective that you saw with a member of the opposite sex, just change the last letter. If you would like to be ordenada as a woman, leave it the same. If you would like to be ordenado because you're a man, change the A to the O. Did you notice that inteligente didn't change depending on whether it described a man or a woman? There are some adjectives, those that end in E or a consonant, that don't change depending on the subject. Okay, te toca, it's your turn. I'm going to ask you what you're like. Como eres? You can respond using any of the adjectives that you've learned so far in this lesson. Try and respond and then ask me what I am like. Y usted? Okay? Como eres? Yo soy alta e inteligente. Gracias. Okay, now let's try and describe a few other people. Listo? I'll show you the picture and ask you what the person is like. You try and respond. Como es él? Y como es él? Como es ella? Y como es ella? Muy bien. Okay, es todo para hoy. You can practice everything you learned here at SpanishDict.com slash learn. There you'll find flashcards for all the vocabulary in this lesson, as well as quizzes for recognition, listening, and recall, an active forum, and live video chat. If you enroll in the course, we'll keep track of your points and you can compare yourself on the leaders board. If you have any questions about ser, personal descriptions, adjectives, or gender, take a look at SpanishDick.com slash reference. Until next time, hasta luego!